Okay, new promo in Ultimate Team, and I think it's a pretty good one. There's some really cool players involved, and one of them in particular is a boosted Heroes, Clint Dempsey. Look at this card now. He has been given a massive boost versus his normal Hero card, and he's like kind of the American Hullet now. Like, this looks great, so I'm looking forward to trying this item out today. Paid over 300k for him on release. I get the feeling he will be very, very cheap very soon, especially with Team of the Season round the corner. But I'm hoping the card is going to be an absolute monster in game. Just quickly before we continue, in the comments below, let me know which of these other players you want to see a video on. I cannot afford Dina Natale, but the others, they're all within reach, so let me know who you want to see a video on. Just look quickly at this boost versus his normal card, like, especially in that defending plus 34, absolutely mad. In regards to a chem style for this guy, like with a basic alone, he actually looks just insane. Like basic isn't a bad choice for him at all. But I think most people are going to go for like the well-rounded approach and probably go for shadow. And with that, you really do have like an insane looking item. But if you're going to use him in an attacking role, I do think something like engine probably would be your best bet. On the American's debut, we come up against this hybrid. He's going to be up against fellow American Weston McKenney. Which player? Nice work. Into Carroll, so he gets onto Mana. Going for it from distance. Oh! Good effort as well, you know. Hitting the bar. Lot of space up top. Dempsey will find Shakiri nicely. Oh, referee! We tried to just glide past him, but then he's gone over the leg of the would be defender. Well. Random 1-0 bridge quit. I don't get why. It was a close game, but we'll take it. Happy days. I thought Dempsey on debut did alright. Obviously was involved in some interceptions, put a decent pass through, and obviously was unfortunate with the shot that hit the bar. Um, yeah, not the most glamorous of roles that he's playing in that box-to-box -box role, but he did it to a decent uh, standard. Alright, let's go again. Hopefully this next game's not as laggy. It's a pretty nice team. Good little hybrid, I guess. Well, <laughs> kind of. I can pay Dempsey. Oh, I shouldn't have shot there. My bad. Time to switch player. That's a really nice pass up top for Mane. Oh, nice Dempsey. Good tracking back naturally. There's a switcher player. We find Shakiri. In 10, we then find Dempsey, who's going to do well to hold the ball. Try to sneak it through for Cruyff, but just wasn't to be. This game is so delayed. That was actually an attempted slide challenge. Nice Dempsey! Oh, the idea was nice. Oh, I was going to say nice. Oh, initially. Nice work, Dempsey. We got a bit fortunate with the balance, but we'll take it. Okay, at the break, it's 1 1. Just quickly, is the gameplay, like, not just the gameplay, but the menus, is every part of FIFA laggy for anyone else tonight? It was bad when I was opening packs earlier. I thought it'd fix, but it's still just so slow. Different formation for the second 45, we're going to move him into a more advanced role just to see if we can get him on the ball a little bit more because as a centre mid, obviously, um, he's doing a lot of defending. Nice. Snuck through a pass there for Cruyff, who just wouldn't lock onto the ball and Kunde knocked him off. Good intercept there. Love that. Dempsey! Oh, just didn't get the right connection. It's a good save there. Switch player, Dempsey. To Shakiri. Who wins it? Bruno! Oh, what a goal! I was a bit worried there. I thought it was going to just ping off the bar, but what a goal that ends up being. Brilliant team play. Dempsey with a long ball out wide. Shakiri does well to put it back inside. And that's a beautiful finish from the Portuguese midfielder. Here's a chance for Dempsey now. Oh, just couldn't, just couldn't get his foot to it in time. What a save, by the way. <laughs> what a save that was from Allison. Nice, I like it. Dempsey surely wraps this game up now with the third goal. And follows that is the rage quit. And following that is the rage quit, I think is what I meant to say there. Let's do this then. Game number four. Very nice team. Very sweaty. Featuring the brand new showdown cards as well. Um, not looking forward to playing against that Ryan Kent. Nice intercept there. Run Cruyff. We can put you through. Chance. Oh, I went too early. Oh, what a run. What a run. And this is a great team goal in the end. I know, I know it's sweaty, but it's champs. Let me off. Into, into Dempsey. First time hit shot by Cruyff, sadly saved. Should have took a touch. 
Chance from the corner. Ball is delivered in. Dempsey with the header. Oh, it's a beautiful header into the top corner. Out of the reach of the keeper. We have our lead back. Nice pass there. Into Cruyff. Oh, I just couldn't get the return. Or can we? Oh, I tried to ball roll instantly, but just the input wasn't having it. Okay, 2-2 at the break. Pretty annoying, to be honest, especially with his second goal just being a rebound. But it is what it is. It is a close game overall. We're once again going to switch to the 4-2-3-1 formation and hopefully have a successful second 45. Oh. Chance. Oh, nice goal. I mean, we got a bit fortunate with the bounce, but that evens things up after the second goal the opponent scored. Chance. Oh, Dempsey. Interesting acrobatic. Like it. Like it a lot from Dempsey. Oh, and he almost gives Bruno a brilliant assist. Ooh, is he on? Is he off? I mean, either way, it's a fantastic through ball and he's on side. And that is a fantastic finish as well to match the pass. And there is a full time. 4-3 victory in the end. Happy with that one. And another really solid performance by Dempsey. Like, there's definitely some downsides to this card, which we'll talk about in the summary. But... Like, going forward, he really does have, you know, a decent output. All right, that'll do us. Couple of outings now with Dempsey Dunn. Ends with a pretty nice record. Five goal involvements directly in three games. Obviously, you've seen in the footage he was involved in more goals. But, um, what did I make of the card? I liked it. I did. Like, it's definitely... Like, the dribbling doesn't feel great. I can say that straight away. He is one of them feels... Uh, one of them feels... He is one of them players, sorry, who feels, you know, heavy in game. Um, not too easy on the 10. Is he capable of doing so, though? Yes. But against, you know, good defenders, they are going to, you know, crowd him out and uh, nab at the ball off him. But uh, it, it's a good card. It really, really is. It's a nice option. Um, I like the pace. Felt quick in game. Didn't feel rapid and definitely didn't feel, you know, like 99 pace like the Shadow Chem style would suggest. But still quick enough. Shooting was great. I thought that was absolutely brilliant for a mid. Um, you definitely could use this guy as a striker. Like his, his shooting capabilities are that good. But um, yeah, definitely obviously better suited to the midfield role. In regards to passing, more of the same. Very good over both short and long distances. And you'll see that in the footage. We've already highlighted the dribbling. It's good for the most part and he does have good ball control. But it's just when it comes to turning, you did see in the clips that he was just obviously not as easy to manoeuvre as other players within the game. Now, defensively, what did we make of him? Um, he was alright. Uh, I liked his physicals more than I liked his tackling abilities, to be honest. He is one of them players who probably isn't going to complete every single tackle. But still, as like a like a box-to-box, -box, his defending is good enough. He's just not, obviously, a lone DM material. But I don't think anyone would use him in that role anyway. And then to finish us off, the physicals... I thought they were great. Like his stamina lasted the full 90. Um, strength and aggression felt good in game, whether it was winning the ball back or protecting the ball. And his aerial ability was quite nice as well. And you saw we even managed to go from a corner too. So, yeah, pretty good all round. And another thing worth mentioning is the positioning. Um, I thought his like run making was very, very good in game, especially when linking up with attackers when playing that cam role. So, with all that being said, the overall verdict is it's a pretty damn good card, but. But is he worth the cost? Obviously, I have paid an inflated price with him being just out today. So his price tag is going to come down. But is he worth over 300k? I don't think so. And I say that just because there are a lot of cards like this already available in the game that are very well-rounded. And some of them just fit the game, you know, a little bit better. But obviously, if you run with an MLS slash um, America theme squad, this is definitely a card that you should pick up because he is a very good midfielder. And him paired with like Weston McKenney in the midfield, I think would be a really, really good duo. But um, honestly, I do think this card is worth trying out, but maybe just not right now. Um, obviously, we're expecting team of the season at the end of this month. And when that promo drops, this card will obviously become very, very cheap. And at that point... Pick him up and try him out because honestly, it's quite a fun item. I just don't think it's, you know, a must-have for anyone's team. But um, still, I'm glad I tried it out and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. So with all that being said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.